Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 426. Ventricular System of the Brain. Describe the complete fluid flow of the ventricular system. The fluid flows from the lateral ventricles to the third ventricle via the right and the left intraventricular foramina of Monroe. Then the fluid goes from the third ventricle to the fourth ventricle via the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. Then from the fourth ventricle, the fluid goes into the subarachnoid space via the foramina of Lushka laterally and the foramen of Magandy medially. Describe the ventricular system picture here on page 426. On page 426, the ventricular system picture here shows the lateral ventricles as you can see here. There's the anterior horn and the posterior horn. Then you could see that the lateral ventricles are connected to the third ventricle via foramen of Monroe. Then you also see the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius, which will connect to the fourth ventricle. And at the fourth ventricle, you see foramen of Lushka and the foramen of Magandy. And medially is the foramen of Magandy, and laterally you see foramen of Lushka. What makes the cerebrospinal fluid? The cerebrospinal fluid is made by the ependymal cells of the choroid plexus. Describe the reabsorption and the drainage of the cerebrospinal fluid. The cerebrospinal fluid is reabsorbed by the arachnoid granulation and then it drains into the dural venous sinuses. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.